How's everyone doing? This dad learning coins, and with another video. Hopefully you don't mind. And this video is going to be about mint errors. Before we get into that, if you guys don't mind, hit that like button, subscribe button, and notification button. I'd greatly appreciate it. So for mint errors, I recommend getting this book, Mint Errors to Die For. And it is by, let's see if we can find this, Joseph Cronin. If you haven't got this book, I would recommend getting it. It has all sorts of stuff in it. And it goes through a lot of stuff. A lot of mint errors, fakes, all that kind of stuff. It goes through a lot of different things. But today... I'm going to talk about one second. Let's see. Flip through to it. Take this off. Struck through late stage of verse die cap. Let's see. See if you guys can get that. I'll show the pictures a little bit more. And this just talks about what's a die cap, late stage die cap, and all that kind of stuff. Um, which I think they are outstanding. They're awesome looking errors. And if you want, go ahead and pause. You don't want to, me reading all that. But uh, pause it and you can read all that. We got a uh, Lincoln set. There's right here. Struck through a cap die, and here's a rosy dime. But, and here is one I have. This is a struck through late stage cap die on a nickel, 1980. These are just cool looking, I think. See if I can get it to focus here. It's probably because the picture in the background. But there we go. But yeah, you can see how it's blurry and it just looks like it's been destroyed. So we flip it over, that's oh, perfect. This is why I like errors. You never know what you're going to look for. So hopefully you enjoyed this little bit. And it's not going into too much detail. But I do recommend getting this book. Oh, turned it around there. It has, as it says, has all sorts of errors, everything. Great book. So, try to get your hands on it. Till next time, remember, have fun hunting. Thanks for watching.